Test, testicles, testy, <laughs> test me. We're here with the 2016 Vital BMX Rider of the Year, Pat Casey. Pat, you had a hell of a year. What do you think? I don't know. I'm stoked. I was definitely very surprised about this. I didn't even, didn't even know about it at all, so it was crazy. That's the goal. Yeah. Surprise attack. When you look back at this past year, what are some of the things that stand out as highlights? Um, like for me, I guess. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess you're probably thinking of just like my Instagram videos. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know. Just, I guess, certain contests and other things. Like just enjoying riding my bike and having fun and doing what I do, I guess. I guess uh, to break down what I'm thinking here is, and feel free to butt in at any time and tell me I sound like an idiot. I've known you for quite a while, and how old are you now, 22? Yeah. So, I think I first met you when you were like 15, and you were the really talented young kid that does all the tricks, and that worked. That worked well for you, and you got some <laughs> sponsors, and you know you uh, were doing 360 triple tail whips when you were a child and uh, eventually got on Haro, got on Monster, and got all these sweet deals. Um, and then the Haro thing ended, and I kind of feel like, I don't know if it was purposefully or not, you kind of reinvented yourself in your writing. I feel like up until that point, like I said, feel free to butt in at any time if I sound like an asshole. I feel like up until that point, you were kind of just another dude out there doing the big tricks. And right around that same time, you kind of came into your own and started doing your own thing. Yeah, for sure. No, I understand what you mean. Uh, I don't know. I just guess around then I just kind of, I got a free coaster and I just, I don't know. I took my brakes off and just started doing like other things that like, I don't know. I would, was doing the same thing like every day, like all those same tricks, you know? So I, not necessarily the same tricks every day, but just, I don't know. You get bored and you want to learn more new things, different things, reach out different way, I guess. So that's the way I went. And that's like, I guess my twist on it. I, you know, and I think that's what, I think it all kind of came to fruition this year. I think this year is kind of when everything worked out. You have this amazing balance of the technical free coaster riding, as well as you still mix in the big tricks. And I just think it's, it's created like a, an incredibly interesting original riding style. Is that something Thanks. you strive for? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, everything, like, I mean, honestly, I feel like a lot of things, like you do forwards, why can't you do them backwards as well? And like, I don't know, I like... I just enjoy like the free coaster and different riding different things and I guess like the bike control aspect of riding and I don't know just being a rider more than just like doing tricks and all that stuff you know like having fun on my bike versus just going out there and doing like a certain trick or whatever like I want to ride my bike the way I want to ride it now versus just doing tricks Would you know. Would you say you're having more fun now than you were when you were doing all the big tricks or was that fun at the time? Um, I mean I can't really judge it off like we can't really say I was having less fun back then than I am now or anything like that because I still think it was fun. Like, it's led to where I am today, I guess, you know. So I still enjoyed it to some point at least. But, yeah, I definitely I enjoy, I think, doing, I don't know, just changing things and trying to put my own original thing on things than just, I don't know, not being a clone but just learning all the tricks everyone else can do and doing that, you know, so... It's cool just to ride how I want to ride. I feel like it's made you more of a risk taker in the sense of, at events, you're not, as scared, to tr you're not scared to try a 540 down whip up a step up. You know, when you know very well, that's, you could probably do something a lot easier that scored high. I yeah. Mean, do you think of it that way? Um, I don't know. I, I, I guess I, the question here would be, how important are competition results to you? Because it seems like you're out there just riding, doing cool shit, having fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm a anything. pretty stupid rider when it comes to competitions, <laughs> I would say, like... I don't know, I just like anything, I just like to ride and have fun, and so I kind of end up taking that to like a competition and doing things that I think would be way harder and like, not way harder, but that I would want to do, you know what I mean? Like, I would be psyched to see myself do at a contest, it's what I want to do, versus like, yeah, of course I could do three triple whips and all the other tricks or whatever, but I don't really enjoy doing that or seeing that, like, not necessarily or seeing it, but that's not what I want to do right now, I guess, you know? I think a big thing... And everyone, not everyone can do it, but I'd like, I do like to be different, you know? Like, I want to be different than just every other rider, I guess. And like I said, I want to enjoy 
the way I ride my bike instead of just hucking as many tail ups as I can or whatever, you know? When I, when I watch your riding, I think one of the things that impresses me the very most about it is that a lot of times you watch somebody ride, you watch a steezy guy and you can be like, he's a big Aiken fan, or you watch a, a guy that does a lot of big tricks and you know, you might find the influence from, you know, Spinner, the first guy doing 1080s, or even like a Baldock, you know? And I look at your riding and I have absolutely no clue <laughs> who your influences are. It seems like you're just kind of making it up as you go and doing things that have never been done. Yeah, but well, I mean, like... certain riders that you've modeled this after? Or are you just kind of coming up with this Just, on your own? I mean, just as like... I don't know, I, I kind of get into phases a lot, but I mean, all like throughout my life I've kind of just been like, not changed through riders, but like, I don't know, I looked up to Mira for a really long time, and then like I looked up to Webby for a really long time, Drew, like Dennis, you know what I mean? Like, and I kind of like just went, not went from each thing to like learn their tricks or style or anything like that, but like they were like real big influences on my riding, so. I didn't, I haven't ever taken just like one person as like an influence really, I think that's why. Like I've just like overall BMX and like put it how I would like to do it, you know? Like I took, when I took my brakes off and everything, I like, not that I was gonna like start riding street or I would like to ride street and all that, but I just like thought a coaster would be sick on ramps and like, I don't know, not that I got bored, but doing everything forward and then taking it, you could do it backwards too, you know? Just like, I don't know, I just really, wanted something different, I guess. Like, I was still doing fakey stuff, like, without, like, with a cassette and all that stuff, but I think uh, it just, like, kept escalating, and then I was like, oh, I think a coaster would be better, you know? So that's just how it happened. It's, it really started, like, with a cassette. I was doing fakey stuff with a cassette, and then it just changed. A big one, I think, this year is you got a mongoose. Yeah. How was that? I mean, that was kind of, I was unexpected to me. I mean, it wasn't that unexpected because Lee told me it was happening, but <laughs> <laughs> when you were off Haro, based on the state of BMX right now, I was like, Pat might be another dude on the deck killing it without a bike sponsor. Yeah, no, I, I honestly had no idea. Like, I mean, Kevin, like, Kevin's one of my good friends, and I, he just, like, kind of, like, hey, mentioned it, like, hey, would you be interested in being on Mongoose? And I was like, hell yeah, like, of course, Mongoose is sick. And then it just kind of went, like, from there, and, like, he knew, I would, like, I would be down, and... I guess like he told Mongoose and then they were interested and picked me up, I guess. So I don't know. I'm very grateful and stoked for it though. How's it been first year? Uh, awesome. Yeah. Like, uh, I think the beginning of the year was like, we went to South Africa and all that. And like, that was like, had like most of the team together. And then we had the Mongoose jam in the UK and in, uh, at West. Woodward. Yeah. At Woodward West. And it's been like super sick. Like the whole team, everyone gets along super good. And it's just like, I don't know, the Mongoose jams are always super sick anyway, so I'm stoked on it. Mongoose has good involvement in BMX, I'm hyped on Climbing it. On. Sticking there for a while? Uh, yeah, I think so. As long as they'll have you? Yeah, <laughs> as long as they'll keep me. Um, you know, one thing this year that stood out to me, and I've been around the game for quite some time, is uh, and this might come off as a negative, and you won't admit it, but I'll admit it. Feast mini ramp contest in France. <laughs> Your riding at the Feast Mini Ramp Contest in France was the best contest riding I've seen in my life. <laughs> and I don't mean best mini ramp contest, best at a feast, best from you. Of every contest I've ever seen, your riding in that mini ramp contest was the best. Thank you. The yeah. best contest riding I've seen in my entire life. Thank you. I was it actually. Was, it, was tricks, it was tricks that shouldn't be happening in, in, in contests one after another. Yeah. It was completely mind blowing. And then the dust settled and it was like everybody's mind was blowing. Then you got like fifth. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I mean, I was pretty bummed on the results, but I was super happy with the way I rode. So at the end of the day, that, that shit doesn't really matter, honestly. But it's like, it was like, I was like, really? But I was very like, I don't know. That's probably was definitely one of the best contests I've ever rode. Like, I don't know. It's a mini ramp. It's in my backyard. It's what I ride every single day, pretty much. So. It was just banger after banger, crazy technical moves. Like you'd do one thing and my mind would be blown. Then you'd fall over <laughs> more more. That was the best I've ever seen. So well, I, yeah, they gave me like three chances for best trick and I did three different ones. And then it was like, <laughs> okay, kind yeah. of thing. So whatever though. Yeah, no, cool. that, that I think right there kind of shows where you're at with your riding. And you know, one thing I thought was cool with that as well is regardless of the results, it seemed like all the riders knew what was up. 
Yeah. I, I heard from a lot of people, you know, like a lot of guys were like, holy shit, that was I amazing. mean, you know, there's, like, yeah, whatever. There's several ways you could look at it as well. Like, I, don't, I, I mean, don't think trick wise, like, yeah, dudes, those dudes definitely probably des did deserve to win. But I mean, like, no. yeah, like you're saying. They, they didn't, Pat. You deserve to win. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I, I don't know. You can't, it's happened, it's done. You can't justify anything about it now, you know? Yeah, so. no, I mean, that came off the negative, but I. No, I but I, I thank you. I appreciate that. But, I was actually stoked on my riding at that contest and was like surprised at, at the end. I was like, I was so hyped and just like, fuck yeah, I won this shit. Easy, you know? Yeah. yeah Not yeah. easy, but I was like, dude, this is like, like you said, I was, that was like the best riding I've ever done in a contest. Yeah. So I was definitely happy with myself. And then to hear that, I was bummed, but at the same time, I was happy with myself. So whatever. Yeah. I think it's one of those situations where. You know, obviously it's nice to get that paycheck, that podium. Like, paycheck. as long as I do my best, but I did my best and <laughs> actually pulled it off, so I was like, yeah. really? But it's okay. I mean, you had fun. Yeah, I had a great time, so that's all that matters. You like this year, 17? Uh, I think so. I like, yeah. I enjoy the fees contest, didn't, didn't so. Didn't bum you out too much, the judging? Whatever. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> How about, I know a big one for you in, uh, in this year, probably the biggest thing for you this year is the birth of your daughter. Yeah, uh, April 1st, April Fool. <laughs> so you're like, Tatum. I had a kid. Yeah. He's like, no, you didn't, Pat. April yeah. Fools. You got to tell her every year on her birthday, have birthday, April Fools. <laughs> how was that? <laughs> but so yeah. You're, how old is your son now? Uh, my son is two now. My daughter just turned eight months. And yeah, it's awesome. She's a little bundle of joy. She's always smiling and just super happy. And I think uh, right as I was leaving, she started crawling and stuff. So got to miss that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, they're actually both sick right now, so I don't think they're really crawling around doing anything. But yeah, I'm super, super pumped on that. Excited about my family. So when you were, you know, 14, 15, getting into BMX, did you ever think it was a situation where you could support your family doing it? Have a family? I mean, them, have a cool house. I mean, that's the that's the dream, I yeah. guess. You know, like everyone's dream. Just not even necessarily a family and all that. Just to like even be able to ride your bike for your living, you know what I mean? Like, or just to be able to ride your bike for the rest of your life, honestly, you know, like do, do something you love. And uh, yeah, to be getting paid to do something I love and be able to support a family, I'm definitely blessed and so grateful for it, you know, like yeah. all the people that support me and everything, it's, it's amazing. What are you thinking for uh, the rest of this year? I know there's some, uh, I gotta, can we mention what's going on or is that top secret? No, it's not secret. I got a, uh, what, DreamYard 3. I'm building, like, more onto the ramp and stuff. But uh, other than that, I think that year's pretty much over. <laughs> so you're going to be home, be home after this, then you're home for... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm home. I'm home for a week. And maybe might film a little bit for the edit and then uh, go to Mexico for Christmas. And then that's it. How about next year? year? Begins. Any, any big plans for 2017? Uh, I know there's, like, quite a few... Well, I'm pretty sure that like beginning of the year that the edit will be coming out, and the that edit. no, the, oh, the Dreamyard edit. Dreamyard Mongo is probably too. I'm not even that, sure. I think that'll be out this year. Yeah, and then uh, there's like quite a few. I think like from January until like March, I'm pretty busy like every weekend with like a contest or something. Not every weekend, but like every other weekend. There's like simple session and then South Africa and whatever else. I don't even know. Vans. Yeah, Vans. That'll be sick. I mean, are you pretty psyched on this year? Would yeah, you consider, would you consider this a high in your BMX career? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, like, I didn't like win X Games or anything like that necessarily, but I'm definitely like, I guess, stoked where I am in my riding and how it's going and all that stuff. So I'm definitely grateful and appreciate the award. <laughs> I guess to finish things off here, who do you want to thank? You've got a lot of people that, that take care of you, and I think uh, yeah, they keep they they make this happen. You yeah. make it happen, but they make they allow you to make it happen. So yeah, the all floor, my the floor is yours. All my sponsors for sure: Mongoose, Monster, Fox Fans, Ethica, Demolition, Bell, and uh, my wife Chase and my parents. And then I think that's about it. Everyone else that works for all those companies, and <laughs> I don't know. Thank you all. <laughs>